Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to American Falls by Lancy Boy. I love the smell of fermenting bales in the morning. I do indeed. 23%. 24%. Looks like we've got a little bit more than today. Maybe into tomorrow. Maybe the beginning of June. They'll be ready for us. We can get on to another cutting. Hope you all had a good weekend. Happy Monday. Chad's back. Hey, Chad. You back, right, buddy? <laughs> yeah, he's back. He's making me some coffee right now. Hey, no instant. I saw you sneaking that in there. I want the real brew. And take the grinder out to the porch. All right. Okay. Yeah, Chad's getting her done for me, making some coffee. He's super excited. I've got some big news about Chad. Holy cow, I can't even believe what I'm going to tell you. I can't believe what I heard let alone what I'm going to tell you. Oh, man. Chad, Chad, Chad. What are we doing, Brad? We've got a cultivator on the back of the old Voltra. Well, we are going to take care of a cultivating contract. We've been doing a lot of spraying. And uh, I thought maybe we were due for a change of pace, more or less. Do I know where we're going? I don't even know if I know where we're going. Uh, let's see here. Field. Let's take a quick peek, Ski. Field 39 for Adrian Hooper. I don't know why Adrian couldn't cultivate her own field, but that's okay. That means it's an extra 12, a little over 12,000 bucks for us. We'll take it. We'll latch onto that. Uh, let's see. What am I looking at? Where am I going? What am I looking at? Focus. I need to focus. I haven't had my coffee. Chad's been a little slack on that. Uh, 39, 39, 39, 39, right there. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. We can find that. We can find field 39. I have not collected on our spraying contracts yet because I don't want to give up our sprayer. Not quite yet, at least. I'm hoping that uh, maybe we can make a little bit more cash money on that sprayer. Can I get to... We're way up here. That... Nah, I better not. All right. We'll go. We'll go this way. Good on gas. Good on gas. No idea what our... Eight months in current... Ch Current damage says zero. We should probably have our tractor checked. Maybe we can have our tractor checked if we get a spray job. That would be a good time to go get a... Uh... Actually, I was going to wait to six months. I was going to do a six-month uh, diagnostics on our tractor. I see uh, course play came up with just a little bit of, a, of an update. So I grabbed that. If you're into that kind of thing. On PC, that is. PC or Mac. Are there any Mac players out there? Do any of you play on a Mac? I would be super curious to hear how this game performs on a Mac. I loved my Mac. I loved all my Macs. I like Mac OS. I'm a big fan of Mac OS. In fact, I will tell you this, Mac OS, the one thing Mac OS has going for it, amongst a lot of things, is no Windows registry. No DLLs, no Windows registry. If you want to uninstall a program on a Mac, you drag it to the recycle bin. There's no uninstaller, there's no... Well, for the most part, I should say. That's not always true. And leave it to Microsoft to uh, to change that up. Because I believe Mac... I believe Microsoft Office for Mac has, a, uh, has an uninstaller. I don't know if it's necessary or needed or what, but I think it does. But for the most part, no uninstallers... I'm not going to get that into it. We won't get into the weeds on that. You all don't need to hear that. Is this field... Uh, field 39's ahead of us here too, right? 
Yeah, yeah, it is, unfortunately. Yeah, I know, we don't have access. But now we have access. I don't know if this was worth 12,000 bucks. It's a pretty good sized field, and we don't have the largest cultivator in the world, but we should be able to get a good chunk. Hopefully get a, a good, well, what am I saying? Hopefully get it done and have a good chunk of the day left. I have no idea. So let's get to uh, let's get to the big news with Chad since we need to get that out of the way and since he's back and back in the saddle again. Thanks, Chad. You can set the coffee right there. Not there. Put it down there, away from the computer. All right, now go go back to your crate. So Chad was doing his whole worldly travels. Um. Apparently, it was initially he was sent on a um, reconnaissance. Um, not I don't know reconnaissance, but on a information gathering mission by the RQS Gaming headquarters, who are still um, basically underground at this point. I'd be surprised if they ever really gain a legitimate headquarters site again they i think they actually run better underground <laughs> i don't know apparently he was sent out to see if they could add some other channels um they threatened to pull the name rqs gaming international conglomeration of Incor of corporate cor incorporated i think i missed something with that anyways chad came back and said he couldn't find anything I don't know what that even means, but he did find something. Let's put it that way. Apparently, Chad watches my videos. And I did a video uh, not too long ago. I don't know where we're going to go. I really don't know where we're going. Let's, let's just sweep around here. That's part of the field there, I think, too. It just goes on and on and on. But evidently... Chad was watching one of my videos, and it was the video where uh, it was the Italia Emilia, I believe it was called. Yeah, we're just going to stick with, I think we're just going to stick with this part of the, of the field. Italia Emilia, and he fell in love with Italia Emilia. And uh, I guess he thought it was a real place. He was partially correct. Italy is a real place. So he went and visited Italy. And um, that was one of his stops, I guess. And he was, uh, I guess, at a, uh, at a Denny's <laughs> in Italy. I didn't know they had Denny's in Italy. But he was at a Denny's, you know, getting maybe, you know, getting a, uh, a moon, a moon, what is it? Moons over my hammy? Was that what it was, Chad? Moons over my hammy? Yeah, okay. Good sandwich. I can't blame him for, for doing that. And he's sitting there, you know, eating a, eating a sandwich. And he spots this lovely lady across the room. She's got a John Deere hat on. John Deere t-shirt. Looks like she's been working. You know, working lady. And uh, he assumes, you know, well, it looks like farming. It's a farming lady. So Chad actually struck up a conversation with this lady. And they got to talking. And found out that she indeed was a farmer, contract farmer. Was working on buying some land and whatnot. Chad, you know, let her know, hey, you know, it's kind of interesting that you're a farmer because I'm an intern for a uh, YouTube channel that uh, focuses on uh, Farming Simulator. And, uh, you know, basically a guy who thinks he's a farmer. And she's like, oh, really? That's amazing. What's his name? And he's like, well, it's RQS Gaming. And then I guess just the lights went on. Come to find out this lovely lady in the John Deere hat just happened to be Gwen's Italian cousin. 
What are the odds? Chad meets Gwen's Italian cousin. In Italy, of course. She wouldn't be the Italian cousin if it wasn't <laughs> if it wasn't Italy, I guess. <laughs> and I guess they hit it off. Like big time. And uh uh, you know, Chad paid for Denny's and, and she respected that. Um, she uh, gave Chad a uh, piggyback ride to his car. Um, he had uh, a Prius rental, of course. And um, they exchanged numbers and uh, got together a few more times. I guess one of their best dates they had. Was it, was it Chuck E. Cheese's? Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese's. Guess they had an amazing time, and that's where Chad proposed. Yes, Chad dropped the bomb of marriage on Gwen's Italian cousin. They are indeed, I think you know the rest of the story, rode off into the sunset on a John Deere 4755, and the rest is history. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well... Where's Gwen's Italian cousin? Well, Gwen's Italian, Gwen's Italian cousin is still back in Italy. She's not allowed to leave the country at this point, I guess. I guess there's still some legal issues surrounding that. But they promised each other they would stay in touch since they're married. <laughs> it's going to be a long-distance marriage. And now Chad is family. Chad is officially... I guess technically now part of my family. And so that kind of got me thinking I should probably treat the guy a little bit better than I normally do. I can get a little bit hard on him. So I went out to, um, I decided, you know what, if he's going to be part of the family, the guy doesn't have a place to stay right now. Um, he doesn't have a, you know, paying job. Interns work for free. They work out of the assumption that maybe they will get hired full-time or maybe the value of what they're learning is worth more than a paycheck <laughs> yeah right so i'm gonna let chad stay here with me um while he is figuring things out um and uh so i went out to chewies uh, dot com and picked up a crate for him now, before you all get kind of cranky on me and say, Brad, you bought Chad a, a crate, really? Nah, he, he likes it. Trust me. Chad likes, when Chad sleeps, he likes to be like um, uh, swaddled. Um, he likes swaddling. He likes to be like completely wrapped up. He doesn't, because I guess there's a fear that if he's not wrapped up, you know, it's just his arms flail around. He gets the jimmy legs and um, he can't sleep. So he likes to be swaddled. And I'm not going to swaddle the guy. So I told him, let's pick you up a crate from uh, Chewy's. I went to PetSmart. No good deal. So I wasn't going to pay more than like, you know, 50 bucks for a crate. I figure if a bed's going to cost... X amount of dollars, I can at least spend 50 on a crate. And plus, the crate's got to be, he's good. If you look online, so what I did was I went online, did a little research. It's been a long time since I've had a dog and, and had to crate an animal. And my dogs I've ever had weren't crate dogs. They just weren't crate dogs, you know. they I That's probably my fault. I didn't mind. I didn't care. I let my dog sleep with me in bed and whatnot. Part of the family. But Chad's not going to get that luxury. And he wouldn't like it anyways. Right, Chad? You like to be swaddled. You like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the nice part is with Chad's crate, we can... Um, so I did, I did some research online to find out the right size because you have to at least allow the allow him to be able to, like, roll around or, or, you know, get in and out and whatnot. You can't just cram him in there. So we got this crate going. And... Um, the nice part about the crate, actually, is we can put a nice blanket over it. We don't know he's there. And it's dark for him, so he can sleep really easily. Uh, Chad's 
um, working. He used to be a bit more nocturnal, but he's working on that. But right now, we, we just use a blanket, and we just put him in there, and we we kind of put, like, thick... Um, you know that, that uh, styrofoam packing? <laughs> that shit... The peanuts, the styrofoam peanuts. So I came up with this idea, and it seems like it's working pretty good. You, you throw just a bunch of styrofoam peanuts in there, and he can just crawl in and just nestle into those styrofoam peanuts. He loves it. He just gets, he's giddy. He gets giddy about it. He's Right now, if you can see him, he's like kind of hopping around right now thinking about it. Right, buddy? Yeah. Well, hey, you know, why don't you... You want to say hi to the people? All right, come on over. Chad wants to say hi. <laughs> Psych, I'm not letting you say hi. Are you kidding me? Shoot. Chad, here's the deal, buddy. You need years of training and experience to get in front of this microphone and do a YouTube video, okay? You can't just come off the street and start yapping, all right? So, you know, we've got a lot of time yet to get you, yeah, okay. He's all right, he's okay, he'll get over it. He thought I was gonna let him get on my mic. <laughs> Silly boy. Oh, man. So, yeah, so why don't you, in fact, why don't you, you know what, why don't you go in your crate? You're getting kind of excited. You're getting a little hyper right now. Okay, he's good. He's getting in his crate. He's a good guy. He's He really is. He's a good guy. But he loves those packing peanuts, man. Oh, he just gets in there and just plays. and He could play for hours with those packaging peanuts. It's amazing. And he's just snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> so uh, I guess the downside is I... The long distance phone calls might get a little expensive. I still don't know what the rates are. I got to look that up and see because he lost his phone on the way back. And I actually, I don't think he lost it. I think customs took it for evidence. I don't know what evidence they were looking for, but, but yeah, he had, he went on all kinds of adventures and good for him. Good for him to see the world. That's one thing I wish I would have done more when I was younger. I should have, you know, I should have just taken between high school and college. I should have just seen the world. I, I completely missed that part. I suppose if I had done that, I would have never gone back to school. That that would be my concern. If I had if I had actually taken the time to to pack up and, and really, you know, make an effort to travel. I probably wouldn't have ever come back. Or if I did come back, I I don't know if I would have been in the mood to go back. School and I weren't the best of friends. I mean, I did fine in school. I just didn't really like it that much. I liked I liked classes that I was interested in. I was one of those kind of students where if it was something I liked, you know, I got into it, and I enjoyed it, and I did well. But, man, if it was a class that I just couldn't wrap my brain around the point of, I struggled. Geometry. When I first started taking geometry, I was like, what is the stinking point of this? I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be a carpenter. I'm not doing anything that requires me to know the Pythagorean theory or whatever. Pythagorean? Is that what it is? And all this nonsense, you know, and the teachers always say, or the, 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 uh, what do they call them in college? The professors, you know, they're always like, well, you never know when this is going to come in handy, you know? Yeah. Right. I've never, I can, I can almost guarantee this. I have never in once in my life after college and probably before college had the need to know what the hypotenuse of whatever and the circumference of whatever is i just i just it just wasn't a need you know if i needed to know if a lid fit on 
uh, a container, I just picked up the lid and tried it. All right? I wasn't like drawing lengthy formulas. You know, so it's, it's just one of those things. But So I was happy for Chad um, that he got out and about. He's going to get back back to it. He's getting a lot of credits for this internship. Um, he goes to some online university. Um, it's not accredited, but he said that it should still be okay. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I think it's the Brooklyn. What was that? I don't want to wake him up. He's sleeping. He's so cute when he's sleeping. I mean, I wish you could see him. He's just, he's just such a, he's just a, such a little guy, and he's just nestled in his little crate with his packing peanuts. Aw, he's just, you know. You gotta watch him though. You gotta kind of watch him carefully, cause I got the. So when we first got him set up with the packing peanuts. I, um, I didn't get the dissolving ones. You know how they have those dissolving ones? I didn't get those. And I had to like Heimlich him like four times in one night because he was just grabbing packing peanuts and stuffing them in his mouth um, while he was sleeping. So uh, we came up with the brilliant idea to get him um, the dissolvable packing peanuts so that if he starts getting the chew getting the getting the chewies you know the chompies at night he can go to town on those dissolvable packing peanuts and they'll just you know dissolve in their way down his his gullet at least that's the idea i haven't had to heimlich him um at least not last night i didn't so that was kind of nice you know he was he got in late last night poor little guy so we went out this morning and I got him some fresh peanuts and we're, I think we're going to do a little bit of a mix. We're, it's still a trial and error thing. Um, I'm thinking about grabbing some hamster bedding. You know that, uh, what is that? Is that cedar? The, the little cedar shavings? I'm thinking about grabbing him some hamster bedding and throw some hamster bedding in there for him. You know, help with the smells and whatnot. He's a tender little guy. He, he's an emotional, tender guy. He misses, you know, he misses Gwen's Italian cousin. And I don't blame him, man. You know, I mean, they just got married, for goodness sakes. And they got ripped out of each other's arms at customs. She was, they tried to sneak her back. Um, I guess they got, you know, they got pretty far. They got through the initial security checkpoint. And, uh... And then the second one got him, I guess. It was more customs, and uh, they figured out uh, Gwen wasn't allowed to leave the country, which is just a shame. So they had to say goodbye to each other right there. You know, you hate to see that. You just hate to see that. But I gave him a... Um, today we went out. I took him out to... When we were picking up the... Uh, uh, some more dissolvable peanuts, packing peanuts. Um, I got him a, um, uh, what, is, what is that, uh, Pokemon. We got him a little Pokemon um, blanket and pillow set. Kind of a big fan. I guess he's a big fan of the old Pikachu and whatever other Pokemon there are. I was never big into Pokemon. I missed that one. My kids, kind of, but I never really had to deal with, I, I got lucky somehow, maybe partially because I have two boys, no girls, but I never had to deal with some of the things, the nightmares I've heard other parents have to deal with, and maybe Chad will go through this, but uh, I'm hoping he doesn't, but I never had to go through the Barney thing. I've heard a lot of nightmare stories about kids who just absolutely got, you know, freaked out about Barney. I was fortunate that my kids liked Blue's Clues. I think Blue's Clues is pretty cool. I could deal with Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues is all right. I didn't mind that at all. And um, what else did they get into? Oh, um, 
The only one that kind of got me a little bit was my youngest son got into um, Mickey's, uh, I forget what it's called, Mickey's Playhouse or something like that. That was a little annoying. That got a little bit grindy. And you know Pete, uh, I don't know if, what his full name would be or if he's got a, another name, but he's kind of the big kind of heavy guy that's in uh, Disney. It's Pete something. I don't know what his name is. Um, super annoying. You know, just dumb as a stump and just super annoying. Uh, but we got through that stage relatively quick. And, and I don't know. I got kind of used to it. You know, he loved it so much. He thought it was just the best thing. The one thing that he loved, too, that I was really glad to see was there was this. We have this John Deere. Well, no, it's not a John Deere. It's a, um, you know what? This whole time. I could be going like 15 miles an hour. Let's pick up this pace. Oh yeah, daddy's... Daddy's gonna get this job done. <laughs> oh man, I don't wanna get too crazy, but... I got the green light from Gen X, so I'm using this mod. Um, it was uh, Old McDonald's Farm. It was this video called Old McDonald's Farm. It was actually a pretty good video. It wasn't bad. You know, it kind of showed just all the, you know, cultivating and plowing and, and seeding and harvesting. And then it showed some animal stuff, some chicken stuff. And it was all right. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. But he loved that thing, man. Oh, my gosh. I think I picked that up. It was like a DVD I picked up at um, the now defunct Toys R Us. I miss Toys R Us so much. We had a big Toys R Us, like, less than 10 minutes from my house. And it's it just it went bye-bye, you know? Like, a lot of things lost to online retailers. Lost to Amazon. Maybe Walmart, but probably Amazon. But I do miss Toys R Us. Oh, man, look at this. The Voltra is... I like this. Now we're making some headway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, buddy. We'll get we'll get another... Uh, maybe roundabout here. Give us a little more room on the ends. But yeah, I feel like... I feel fortunate that I didn't have to... Um, deal with like Barney I probably would have lost my mind there was another one too um, what was that um, that goofy little puppet um, and I guess I don't know what was his name stinking I'm going to have to think about that one there was another one it, it was um, he had a weird voice too if I remember right and I think I saw the guy one time that that did the that did the show, or that did the voice, you know, in the puppeteering for me. Creepy man, creep me out. He was really, really, really popular. But yeah, fortunately, I got into Blues Clues. The kids like that. Um. Then we got into the uh, Power Rangers. Now, not the old school Power Rangers, obviously, because my kids weren't around during that time. But we got into several different Power Rangers shows, and I, I didn't mind those. I didn't mind them. Like uh, Power Rangers uh, Samurai, Super Samurai. And then there was my, uh, what was the, after Super Samurai, there was one where it was like, um... My favorite one was where they brought in all of the Power Rangers so they could like morph to like, I don't know if they could morph to them or if they like just popped up like Instapop, but you got like Power Rangers from all the different decades and, and series and stuff. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good one. I like that one. So they got into Power Rangers and of course then we had to get into the Power Rangers gear so every time with the Toys R Us, pick up a, a sword or a Megazord, a Gigazord. 
I still have a lot of the Gigazord stuff and Megazord stuff. But sadly, they never really got into... My youngest got into a little bit of Scooby-Doo. Not really the show, more or less, but every once in a while, they still make them too, like a Scooby-Doo movie. And the one that he liked the most, that I swear we watched at least 50 times, was Camp Scare. Scooby-Doo and Camp Scare. The Woodsman. That was the big evil character on Camp Scare was the Woodsman. And uh, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I, I just felt fortunate that I got away with no Barney and no uh, whatever that little red puppet. I wish I could remember his stinking name, but I think he was red and and irritating. Oh, cool. Why can't it? Oh, oh, Tickle Me Elmo? I think that was right. I think that's right. Isn't it? Elmo. Yeah, Elmo. Stinking Elmo. I was so happy we didn't deal with Elmo. Never had to buy a Tickle Me Elmo. Never had to, you know, never had to do that. So thank goodness for that. I must have done something right in my life to, uh, to not have to deal with Tickle Me Stinking Elmo. Does this override work with um, hired helpers if you set it? I doubt it. That would be kind of nice. I'd like to at some point get into being able to hire helpers on this uh, map. Once we get, you know, all rich and stuff, and we can afford them. But yeah, this working speed mod. Oh, I always forget about this thing. This is the way to knock it out, though. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get too crazy with it and go 40 miles an hour or something. I guess you could. I still like to at least feel like I'm in somewhat control of the vehicle. Nice and quiet around here when Chad's sleeping. He does grind his teeth a little bit. Maybe I need to work on getting him a mouth guard. So I can't believe it. He is now really kind of, I have to admit, part of the family then. You know? My sister Gwen. Then you've got Gwen's Italian cousin. I don't know what that makes Chad, if that makes him like a third cousin removed or fourth intern removed or what the heck he, he is. I don't really know how he would fall into the family tree. I'm hoping I never have to go to a, I don't even know what his last name is. I just thought of that. No idea what Chad's last name is. It seems like it. It was a kind of a weird name, like Funwinkle, like Chad Funwinkle, or Chad um, um, Paradinkle, or some, something Inkle, I think. I'll have to ask him. I don't really want to ask him, because then he'll think I'm interested, you know? Once you, like, show interest in Chad, like, you show, like, I gotta be kind of quiet, because I don't want to wake him up, but once you show interest in anything about him he just goes nuts man it's like he thinks you're just amazing you know so i try not to ask him anything about his childhood or his parents or anything i don't even know if he's got parents i don't know maybe he was like a petri dish kind of thing is that bad like a test tube baby are those things real i guess they are right test tube babies maybe he was a test tube baby that would be kind of, that would explain a lot. I know he was homeschooled. I mean, you'd have to be a complete idiot to not <laughs> to not see that Chad was homeschooled. <laughs> Sorry if you were homeschooled. I, I that's awful. I know. I know. I'm probably just lost at least one or two subscribers. But I honestly was so jealous of anybody I knew that was homeschooled. I thought that was just would be amazing. 
I would have absolutely loved being homeschooled. I hated, especially in the earlier years, the elementary and junior high. Oh my gosh, I hated. Junior high was hell on earth. We're going to go straight here. I'm getting kind of tired of taking the Mario and Dreddy corners there. Yeah, junior high was just hellacious. So I would have been like all about homeschooling. But my mom, she no way, man. She couldn't wait to get us out of the out of the house in the morning. <laughs> I think she was like <laughs> Time to go, time to go, time to go. Oh man. Bless her heart. All right, everyone, I'm going to call this good. I think we've pretty much covered the big news. Um, I'm going to make sure. Uh, I think we need to get this cultivating done. I'll try and get this knocked out before we see each other again tomorrow. Keep this thing moving on, moving onward and upward. I'd say now that I remembered about the... Uh, real working speed mod I'd say we definitely will have some time left in the day to be able to do some more spraying or some kind of a, more contracts they call it the real working speed mod but is this really the real working speed mod is this really 18 miles an hour with a cultivator I don't think that's real I don't think they know what real means maybe their idea is sometimes it gets lost in translation maybe the the word real isn't so much like real, like real life working speed, but real to how far you put the pedal down. Maybe that's kind of the idea there. That's more what it is, right? Anyways, you all take care of yourselves. Thanks so much for joining. I appreciate it. And uh, as always, make sure you take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment for Chad. He's, uh, I'm going to start letting him maybe read the comments. Um, I'm not sure if I should let him on the internet or not, but we're thinking about it. So uh, if you got something to say to Chad, maybe congratulate him and Gwen's Italian cousin. They're really a cute couple. So let's, uh, you know, let's hope for the best. I think there's only like, I don't know. You only find love once, right? <laughs> you only find true love. True love is so hard to find. So, uh, you know, you got to kind of just, you got you to gotta wish the best for them. But anyways, I'm out of here. You guys take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.